So this is my Hall of Fame all-time go-to color for emerald because Dharma's bleeds and Jacquard's just isn't um, vivid enough for me. So it is fluorescent lemon from Dharma mixed one-to-one -one equal parts with uh, turquoise from Procap. We're going to do a 5% saturation on a 3.5 ounce skein. So first we put in the lemon. And we're just going to move this around. Now I want these to look um, like watercolor, so that's why I'm doing it like this instead of leveling the dye bath ahead of time. Now we add the turquoise. Now this isn't super wash, so it's not going to strike immediately. This is actually a merino and um, cultivated silk blend. And this is gonna get darker with the heat, but as you can see, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous green. So Spearmint Breeze. This is Spearmint Breeze mixed with Bright Aqua. And now we're just gonna speckle in a little bit of that turquoise. To marry it to this emerald and this deep blue green forest. Now we're going to shift the shade value of this spearmint by adding just a pinch of the fluorescent lemon. I know this is hard to see guys but it's in action. I'll show you a finished shot later. Now this is lichen mixed with moss. This is the deepest shade but I feel like it's a tiny bit flat. So we're going to add some of that turquoise to bring some vibrancy back, but it'll still be the darkest green. Here we go. Let's gently mix that in. And there we go. See that? So here's our finished result. Now these colors are actually more saturated and vibrant in real life. Um, especially this blue. It's really, really blue-green and almost like a sapphire midnight with a tiny green reflect. This one's probably one of my favorites, but I just wanted to give you an idea. So my recommendation is, especially on non-superwash, to kettle dye in stages to get really unique, rich, interesting colors as opposed to just a single dye pass. I like to do a minimum of two and sometimes as much as four. Hope that helps.